Probably one of the first things I learned as a video editor is how to add light leaks to my footage. And I have to say, once I learned how to do this, it took my videos to the next level. Learning how I can mix clips together opened the doors for my video editing capabilities. Now, before we get into how to add light leaks to your clips inside Premiere Pro, you might be wondering what is a light leak or how do you get them? How do you create them? Well, you can either create them from scratch or you can download them from a stock website. For example, if you're creating them from scratch, all you need to do is take your camera and then a light source, maybe a flashlight or something that you can shine it in front of the lens. So you would just turn this on and then just shine it in front of the lens, get a few different looks. For example, I just shot some of my own light leaks I created in my studio. Those are the light leaks that I'm gonna use in this tutorial. Now, if you wanna download them for yourself, you can do so by joining my Patreon page. Becoming a patron on my Patreon page, you gain access to all my assets that I use on a daily basis as a video editor, and it helps support the channel. So if you're interested, be sure to check it out. Now let's see how to add light leaks to your Premiere Pro project. All right, so I'm inside Premiere Pro and I have these two clips. Now, when it comes to adding light leaks to your footage, there's kind of two ways that you can do it. You can add it to a clip by itself, or you can use it as a transition, which I want to do here. I want to use a light leak to transition between this clip and this clip. And my pack is actually a transitions pack. So what I'm going to do is import my pack. So I'm going to go up to File, Import. I'm going to select my light leaks and click Import. With all my light leaks imported, I'm going to choose one that I'd like to use. For example, I want to use one of the warm light leaks transitions. So I'm going to double click on one and click play to preview it inside my source monitor. And to add it to my timeline, I'm just going to click and drag this film icon right into video track two here above my video clips. Now you'll notice when I click and drag, it snaps to the transition point. This is because I added a marker to all these transitions showing where you should place it if you're using it as a transition in between your two clips. So this is how you can add it. Now you might be wondering, how do you change this mix so it blends into the clips underneath it? And to do that, what you can do is just click on your clip, navigate to your effects controls panel, and then underneath opacity, next to blend mode, you can choose either linear dodge add, or if you want a softer look, you can choose screen. In most cases, I choose linear dodge add. And if we click and play this back, we can see what we have so far. Now, one thing I do like to do is add some keyframes to the opacity of this clip. So I'm going to grab my pen tool and click and make points on this line here and then click and drag on both sides of the point to drag down the opacity on both sides of the clip. And this just makes the light leak a little shorter and only displays it during the cut point. One other thing you can do with light leaks is change the color of them. So if we hide video track one, you can see the original color of the light leak. But let's say if you wanted to change the color of this, you can easily do that inside Lumetri Color. So you can change your workspace from editing to color. And then if you navigate to the curves tab, you can scroll down to where it says hue versus hue. Now with your light leak clip selected, you can click and drag on this line to change the hue. So if you wanted it more orange, you can click and drag it to a more golden orange look and then unhide video track one. And you can see that we've adjusted the hue of this light leak. So if we click and play this back, you can see what we have. And this matches more of the sky, more of the sun color coming from the video clips. And that's how you can add light leaks inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Like I mentioned, be sure to check out my light leaks pack for Premiere Pro. I will leave it linked down in the video description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below underneath this video. But that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.